It's hard for me to know if I've always been an artist because if I have always been, I don't know another way that I would be. Like I can't zoom out of my head. To me, human beings are like tool makers and they create things. Most people as human beings are creative and stuff and I don't like separate that out into artists. When you're young, you think that whatever you've discovered recently is the best thing for like six months. And then you realize that they're like part of the larger history of other things. But most of the things in my life that inspire me to work and keep doing stuff aren't art related, they're human related. I think I have to like get out of my own head and sort of like focus on friends or relationships or things like that. I, I wouldn't say I'm self-driven. If I'm driven, it's because like I care about my family or my friends and I want to talk about those things. I think it's important to deal with politics in some way. I don't think it should be necessary because I think if you don't think that that's what you should be doing, probably not. I think you should deal with things that you find interesting. My grandpa growing up, he was in World War II. I, I spent a lot of time at their house. He had PTSD and he'd be screaming while he was sleeping. That was because of political stuff that happened. I think I talk about it because of that, because it was part of my lived experience what these kinds of ideas can do and how they go throughout time and affect generations of people. And that's always just been part of my family. Growing up, I was mostly inspired by musicians. I liked sort of like politically oriented metal music because there's that distortion, there's that loudness. You can't sometimes know what they're saying on purpose, right? It's disguising the message in a certain way and even like writing in bands like Lamb of God. It was originally ambiguous and I like the ambiguity, the ambiguity of the poetic kind of lyrics, the noise, the distortion and all of that coming together to say something that was uncommon and sort of different because besides that you just have like pop bands or Eminem come on MTV and tell you what to think about stuff. They're, they're circumventing that process and they're doing it in a more abstracted way and you're not telling people what to think or how to think. There's lots of art that does that. I don't think that works because like you know it's going to be a liberal show or something like that about liberal politics and you're a conservative, you're just not even going to go in there in the first place, let alone like have your mind changed somehow. I mean the idea is kind of ludicrous. What I'm trying to do is like do that in a way that will make people think about those kinds of things and bring up those topics without having some kind of partisan message be part of it. I think it reads as being done quick. I think that that's sort of like a misconception because there's really 20 on a pile on the floor that I didn't like and then I put that last one up, but I had to have the 20 on the floor <laughs> before I made the one that's still up. Irony is really good for critiquing things. It's not so good at creating replacement values. So that's why I sort of avoid the irony aspect of it. Abstraction could enter into it. It does enter into it a lot. I think that's also just a really subjective thing. Like what I think is abstract might not be to you. I don't think anything really is totally abstract because you can't invent something that hasn't existed. Everything you're abstracting is still based on sense perception, which is something that exists. I have a political opinion, I vote. I have always voted since I was 18, but I, I think if I enter myself into it that way, it obscures it because part of it is actually trying to convince myself that the opposite of what I think is true. I feel like it, it undercuts the entire thing if I am giving a specific type of message. Human beings are meaning-making machines. Like that's what your brain does. So the more you tell someone someone doesn't mean something, the more they're going to think about what it really means. So I, I don't even think it's possible to make something that means nothing.